Meron akong dalawa pang na-try. Kailangan mag-submit ka pa ng video. Actually, papakita ko sa inyo dito. Panarin nyo. Good morning, Task Network. Hello. My name is Naomi. Hello everyone! My name is Mimi and welcome to my home base story kung saan lagi tayo nagsishare ng mga bagong videos regarding work from home. Kaya naman kung bago ka sa ating channel, please consider subscribing. For today's video, I will share something based from my personal experience. Ito ay kung paano ako naging real estate virtual assistant through facebook.com. So make sure you stay with me until the end of this video para meron kayong idea kung paano nga ba mag-start maging virtual assistant using facebook.com. If you don't have a clue on how to build your online portfolio yet, check out Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in business, design, freelancing, marketing, and more. I found one of their top classes in freelancing very empowering and inspiring that will put you right on track no matter what your skills are. So if you want to fuel your career, Skillshare is a perfect place for you to keep learning and upgrading those skills. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and workshops that are just right for you. Skillshare is also super affordable compared to in-person classes and workshops. Their annual subscription is only less than $10 per month. And the good news is because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you all will get a two-month free trial by just wow. clicking on the link on the description box and pinned comment down below. So join us in learning with Skillshare. So ayun nga guys, alam nyo naman lahat na I'm working as a real estate virtual assistant for three years now and I've been freelancing and working from home for five years now. I started way back 2014 when I had my twins. So ayun, I'm actually very familiar now with, you know, with Upwork. I had a client from there once. Uh, I also am familiar with online jobs PH. I think that is where I got my first client. Iba pa siguro yung name niya nun. So the, the client that I have right now is the third one that I have. And I've been with him for almost three years now. So siya, nakita ko lang siya sa Facebook group. Before pa nun, marami na akong groups na mga sinasalihan na mga online freelancing groups or yung mga virtual assistant groups in Facebook. Kasi una, nakakakawa ako ng idea kung ano ba yung mga legit websites. And I can also get into the latest update kung ano nga ba yung mga bago na ngayon. Kasi the freelancing world, guys, is continuously evolving. Dati, more on general VA lang, ganyan. Pag sinabing virtual assistant ka, talagang lahat sa'yo, ganyan. Pero ngayon, meron na mga specialization. Meron ng e-commerce VA, meron ng graphic design VA. So, maraming klase. And isa na nga dyan is itong real estate VA. So, my client, I found him in Facebook while I was just browsing. I think the group's name is Virtual Assistant Network Philippines. And I saw that he's, um, hindi siya Pilipino. So, chineck ko yung profile niya. Mukha namang nag-work talaga siya sa real estate sa state. So, makikita nyo dyan yung post niya. Ipopost ko siya dito. Makikita nyo dyan na kompleto yung post niya pinakilala niya yung sarili niya, ano yung mga hinahanap niya dun sa VA, or ano yung services na kailangan niya ng tulong, and ano ba yung dapat mong gawin para mag-apply. So, yun yung pinaka-importante kasi, ano yung mga dapat na kailangan gawin. Pag magtitingin kasi kayo sa Facebook, kailangan meron yung company. Saan ba galing tong company na nagpo-post? Company or tao, kahit tao, basta ma-search mo sa ma-search mo siya sa LinkedIn or basta may profile, public profile siya na malilink mo siya dun sa business. Okay lang yan. And then, yung description ng job, ano ba yung nature ng business nila, ano ba yung hinahanap nila, ano yung skills or requirements na kailangan nila. So, sobrang haba nitong post ng client ko. So, I decided to give it a try. Um, the compensation at that time naman is competent for me. So, I started at $700. Yung $700 na yan, meron pa yung mga kasamang ibang bonuses. Kung time na yon nag-offer siya sa akin ng 
paid leaves, tapos meron din mga Christmas bonus, sales bonus, ayan. Depende guys yan sa mapapag-usapan nyo parati ng client nyo. So, ayun na nga, naghanap lang siya ng resume na in both in PDF daw and doc, tapos i-email ko sa kanya. Actually, the application was very long. Kasi kapag Facebook, parang freelance din yung si client. Depende sa kanya kung anong gusto niyang gawin during the application process. So, I think we had about two interviews. So, nung una parang nag-usap lang kami, tapos ni-review niya yung resume. You know, like yung initial interview kapag sa office, ganyan. Tapos, after nun, may pinatake siya sa akin na exam. Na binayaran niya daw yung exam na yon Na malalaman mo dun sa exam na yon kung ano yung mga bagay na position based sa personality mo and do sa level of thinking mo. Mag-chinect niya kung nag-match ako sa VA position and... So far naman, although yung pinakamataas doon, web developer, match pa rin naman, match ako for AVA job daw. Eventually, nag-schedule kami ng another interview with the team. Actually, dalawa lang naman sila nung time na in-interview ako. So, nagtanong lang sila about yung results nung exam. Yun, napakadali lang for me. It's very, it was very easygoing, relaxed mode. And ayun nga, we found na mukhang magmamatch naman yung personality namin. And that's how I got hired. After nung final interview, nagbigay siya sa akin ng sample task. So sabi niya, i-arrange mo to as an import file. So lalagay mo lang sa columns, ganyan. And I'll pay you... I think he paid me $10 just for that, just for arranging an Excel file. Maganda yon for me kasi nung nagbayad siya, I know that he's a paying client. Hindi siya yung scammer lang na, alam mo yun, nagpapagawa tapos hindi magbabayad. At least dun pa lang sa start, alam ko na na I can expect something in a month's work na may susweldohin ako at the end of the month. Pero yung susweldohan talaga namin is um, week bi-weekly. So every two weeks. Ayan. Depende talaga yan guys sa mapapag-usapan nyo ni client mo. And ayun, kita nyo naman, sobrang tagal ko na sa kanya. So, I really like what I'm doing. Lumaki na nang lumaki yung ginagawa ko. When I started, it was really just um, data management. Add lang ng mga contact, calendar, ganun lang. So, ngayon, sobrang dami ko nang ginagawa. Shinare ko yan sa isa kong video, yung pinakauna yung virtual assistant. So, ayun, check nyo yan, guys. Ma-share ko lang, bago to, bago ko naging client to, madalas talaga ako mag-browse sa Facebook. And actually, hindi ito yung una kong trinay na pag-applyan. Meron akong dalawa pang na-try. I think it was Task Us. Tapos yung isa, hindi ko maalala, pero nag-offer din siya ng around that range, 30 to 35,000 nung time na yun for a VA. So, nag-apply din ako doon. Tapos, ang haba rin ng process. Kailangan mag-submit ka pa ng video. Actually, papakita ko sa inyo dito. Panakarin nyo. Good morning, Task Network. Hello. My name is Naomi. I've been working as a home-based virtual assistant since December of 2014. Ayan, so nag-submit pa ako ng parang application video kasi pumasa na ako doon sa screening ng mga taga rito sa Pilipinas. Bali yung video na yun, yun yung papakita nila sa client. Bawa, nakakuha sila ng bagong client, papakita nila. Tapos pag nagustuhan ka ni client, based doon sa video mo, then hired ka na, ganyan, magsastart ka na with the client. And nag ako for a month and wala. Um, laging hindi napipili yung video ko kapag may mga, I think for that month, nagkaroon sila ng 2 or 3 clients sa pumasok. Tapos iba yung kinuha nila. So, ayun guys. The reason why I'm sharing this is because napaka-competitive ng world ng freelancing. Especially now, guys. So, huwag kayong panghinaan ng loob. Kung hindi kayo napili or kung na-decline kayo and kung nano kayo, it only means it's another step to a yes. Diba? Kung gusto nyo talaga mag-home base, build your skills, guys. Halimbawa, feeling nyo, kulang kayo sa skills. Napakaraming free resources online sa YouTube, sa Google, mga blogs. I-search nyo yan, guys. Basahin nyo, lalo pag may free time kayo. Kasi dyan din ako nagsimula. Dyan din ako natuto. When we all first started here in freelancing sa virtual assistant, we did a lot of research talaga. Um, talagang sa research base kami, kahit 
sino matagal ng freelancer na tanungin mo. Talaga siya nagsisimula lagi. So yun guys, syagain nyo lang and you'll definitely get there. Kung gusto mo, diba? Sabi nga nila, laging may paraan pag gusto. Okay, so guys, word of advice, since this is Facebook, you really have to be careful. Hindi lahat ng posts ay useful, hindi lahat ng posts is legit. You still have to do your research. Napiyan yung paulit-ulit ko sa inyong sinasabi. If you want guidance on how to tell apart yung mga legit from yung mga mukhang scam, I actually did a collaboration video with James Ruiz. I'll put that in the link below. It's two-part video, guys. We checked out different groups in Facebook. And malalaman nyo doon kung ano nga ba yung mga dapat nyong tingnan or hanapin sa isang post para makonsider nyo na legit siya. So guys, make sure you try joining Facebook groups. Three benefits yan. First, it updates you on what's new in the freelancing world. Two, it helps you and, you know, gives you a support group in your search for an online job or, you know, kahit kung nag-work ka na, kung kailangan mo nang haka-relate sa'yo, <laughs> syempre hindi rin madaling mag-work from home, ha? And three, and siguro ito yung pinakamahalaga, it allows you to see new opportunities for you if you are still looking for an online job. Ayan. So, para sa mga interested mag-virtual assistant, this video is for you. Being a VA is a very rewarding job, especially if you love all the things that VAs do. Ayan which is more on really being a secretary. Sana nakatulong tong video na ito sa inyo and sana na-inspire kayo or sana nagustuhan nyo tong video na to. Thanks again for watching. Be safe guys and I'll see you again on our next video. Bye!